Hello everybody, what is up? Stick Boy here, finally back after a couple of very busy weeks to do some more reactions. And before um, I get into this, I know a lot of you are going to be looking for Ruby, and I just want to say that you're probably going to be seeing this before you see any more Ruby. Um, I am going to be getting back into that. I, I have already, um, but as you know, the uh, there's that whole disputing and you know getting it unblocked and all that fun stuff. So you're definitely going to see this one first because I figure this one will just go straight out and stay there. So um, this is a series that I really want to get back into, and I didn't mean to put it down. I just got busy, and there there was a lot of other stuff going on, and I kind of just forgot about this one, but. Um, these are great. Like, the first ten that I watched are great, and I want to see some more. And Ponies is over now, so, um, you know, there's no more new episodes of that. So let's uh, go back and have some fun with the ones that we've already got. Um, so, obviously, this is DWK's Totally Legit Recap, and I'm going to be looking at five of them tonight. Um, season 6, episodes 11 through 15, and that is going to be um, Flutter Brutter. Um, uh, Spice Up Your Life, Stranger Than Fan Fiction, Cart Before the Ponies, and 28 Pranks Later. So three really good episodes and a couple of, yeah, so-so episodes. Not the worst, but let's see what happens with them, though. These are always a ton of fun. So I don't know how long this video is going to take, so let's just uh, get right into it. So here we go. This is uh, episode 11. Here we go in three, two, one, play. All right, so uh, yeah. it's a oh, lovely day in. in Cloudsdale, and Fluttershy is having lunch with the parents in their beautiful home, along yes. with their lifelong best friend, Rainbow Dad. Yes, they are. And Fluttershy's like, wow, guys, our lives really turned out great. I mean, Dad just retired. You guys can enjoy your golden years and marital bliss. And me and Dash right. are superheroes who save the world and hang out with princesses. Everything's yes. peachy and nothing can possibly Until... fuck this up. And her parents are like, yep, you said it, sweetie. <laughs> like, we're yeah, so happy about that. and we're so proud of you. You too, Rainbow. You're like a second daughter to us and we always believed in you. And Rainbow's like, guys, stop it. You're going to make me cry. And then nothing <laughs> bad happened. The end. Right. Right. Oh, wait, no, that's not what happened because of this motherfucker. So, apparently Fluttershy <laughs> yeah, this, has a brother, and he's a lazy hipster dipshit with weird hobbies who uh, wants to move back in with their parents because he dropped out of college again. Uh, and, uh -huh. Am I watching My Little Pony right now? Because it feels like I'm watching my... Anyway, this guy is a fucking piece <laughs> of work. Uh, he uses stupid slang and talks with some kind of weird affectation, even though he obviously grew up around people who speak normally. That is I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that, right? Uh, that is kind of strange. Comes off as kind of douchey, doesn't it? So this asshole yeah. barges in like he owns the place, makes his dad get all his bags, and you know at least one of them is full of dirty laundry that his mom is gonna have to do. Well, maybe you don't know that, but I know that. So Buttershush pulls her parents aside, and she's like, you guys can't let him do this to you again. And they're like, oh, he's a creative type. He just needs a little time to find himself. And she's like, yeah, that's what we've been telling ourselves for the past 10 years. But you know all he's going to do is smoke pot, drink your wine, jack off, and post on 4chan all day. Probably all at the same time. Yeah. Tell me I'm wrong. And Fluttershy's dad is like, well, at least it's not Reddit. So Brother Zephyr <laughs> McDouche Muffin here is hitting on Dash, and God damn does he want her like not this kind of one we're talking this guy <laughs> yeah but she fucking decks him which is awesome and then everybody argued over whether or not dash is gay again guys it's no been she almost just six years can we just stop and <laughs> flutters is like all right motherfucker you're coming with me and you're getting a job and he's like no that doesn't matter i don't need a dash job gay. my that main just, therapy like... youtube channel is totally taking off i've almost just got like, 100 a subscribers bag. and my patreon and you're getting it. a fucking job so, it's the next morning, and dude, I, I, her brother is tired as fuck because he normally wakes up at noon, and I'm sure he's really trying to get back on a normal sleep schedule, but it's just hard when you have no routine. And Fluttershy's you know? just like, got and this. And Fluttershy's like, listen, like, Rarity is a very good friend of mine, and she was nice enough to give you some work, so don't fuck up. So he fucks up. And mm -hmm. then he fucks up again, just like he's been doing his entire life, because, like, Fluttershy keeps telling him he never commits to something and finishes it. 
you know, I uh, I need a drink. Hitting a little too close to home there, DWK. Almost every day in the back of your mind, you probably thinking I was gay. But no, I'm just a bitch ass nigga. Type to get jacked if I'm the rich ass nigga. Yeah, I think we're hitting a little too close to home. Type to trying to turn a hoe to a housewife. Jesus Christ. All better. So, even Dash tries to give this guy a chance because she's a bro, and surprise, he fucks up. So she kicks his ass, which he deserves and probably secretly enjoys, and Fluttershy is Yes like, and yes. If you can't hold down a job and contribute something, you can't live here. So she has to throw him out, and of course she feels like shit because he's her freaking brother, but what can you do when you have a family member who's a piece of shit? There's no good answer to that question, is there? Jesus Christ, no, man. No, there's not, um, is there? Can we fight Chrysalis again? Or <laughs> how about Tyrick? You know? Uh, you know why those were fun? Is because I haven't fought a giant parasitic bug queen or a magic-eating centaur before. Uh, I'm just saying it had a nice element of fantasy yeah. to it. <coughs> so Zeph ends up living out in the woods and literally goes insane. And Dash is just like, Dude, if we don't bail him out, he's gonna end up dead. And Fluttershy's like, look, man, me and Mom and Dad, we've done everything we can. This is on you now. And so Zephyr finally has to face the fact that he's so terrified of failure that he just gives up and sabotages everything he ever tries to do. And, uh... Okay, you know what, my little pony? Uh, I, I think you've changed a bit. Uh, I watch you because talk, you're fun and cute and use whimsical characters and situations to teach moral integrity. Also, sometimes there's rainbow explosions and shit, or at least there used to be. Um, this feels a bit too familiar. Anyway, yes. they sing a magical pony song and Zephyr realizes he's actually capable of whatever the fuck this is. Um, so he goes hey, back to college, know. gets his degree, and stops hating himself. He got that degree, like, like Thanks, really guys, freaking fast. I shouldn't have done this without you. And they're all like, dude, we always knew you were an awesome guy, and we're so proud of you. Well, most of them knew. Yeah. I think there was oh, one there that sick. never, uh, nerves, never was on the Zephyr train. Looking at you, Rainbow. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I think we, uh, I think we may have learned a couple of things about DWK, as uh, as I think we have before, um, in a previous one. Um, let's move. On. I don't know what to make of that one because, like, yeah, it's like he was making jokes, but then it's just like, oh shit, this is. Um, this is a little. Uh, this is a little more. Uh, <laughs> this is a little closer to home than I expected. Um, all right. So the next one. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, Spice Up Your Life, which was the one where uh, Pinkie Pie and Rarity got sent to the um, got sent to Canterlot to the uh, restaurant to um, help the suspiciously Indian. Uh, father and daughter um, manage their restaurant. So let's uh, go ahead and pull that one up and see what we got here. All right, here we go. Let's get it in the right spot. And all right, nothing more to say. Let's just get on with it. In three, two, one, play. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy. Okay, so okay. this episode starts yeah, out they, with uh, the main Gordon six Ramsay and Princess Tony. Twilight Sparkle all hanging out in the Friendship Castle playset. Now, yes. if you recall, at the end of Season 5, Glimmy nearly destroyed the universe because she took the battery out of the castle and hid it. And Twilight oh, had that, to go on an epic adventure through she space did? and time to find another 9-volt, because who the fuck ever has one of those? Actually... Glimmy, what that... are you doing here, man? This is a violation of all three laws of Starlight Glimmer. Oh, wait. 
Actually, we're good on number three. Spike does it. Fortunately, oh, after nearly it. a year of tireless research, she and Twilight have finally modified it so it runs on double A's, and they can finally press the button that turns on all the sparkly lights and activates the built-in plot. Hey, whatever you gotta so do. it seems like whatever they did do, it kind of fucked it up, because it doesn't seem to realize that Rarity and Pinky just had an episode together a few weeks ago. Anyway, they get hey, sent look, to Camelot you know... to find a friendship problem, but obviously any excursion involving a compulsive overeater means food is first thing on the agenda. So, they took Again, three different you know, you restaurants. But do. apparently, A, all the highest rated restaurants in Canterlot serve the exact same shit, and B, that shit is in fact shit. So, yeah. Pinky uses her superior nasal passages to find some decent food, and <laughs> oh Pulls my a, god, a it's a hot, Sam. flavorful, exotic waifu fresh off the grill. <laughs> DHX, we need to have a talk, okay? You're just serving them up to the porn artists on a silver platter at this point. What happened to a challenge? Anyway, this chick and her dad are like, really obviously Indian. And at first I was like, okay, I said suspiciously. Then again, Equestria has plenty of locations that parallel real world places mm -hmm. like Manhattan or Minneapolis, to use an example from this very episode. Uh, but to me, when it's some American city, it just seems like, yeah, yeah, okay, very clever. This felt a little jarring and out of place. And then I realized the show isn't being racist, I'm being racist. <sighs> My Little Pony, you okay. never cease to make me realize what a piece of shit I am. Anyway, Waifu Masala and her dad are hating life and each Not other sure because that that's their business true is racism, tanking but okay. since the Pony Michelin Guide won't review their restaurant, even though it's bomb as fuck. So, Rarity being the cool, collected, classy, and connected gal that she is, is just like, darling, don't even trip. I'll have them in here by this afternoon. We just need to fill this place up and make it a little less ethnic. Also, I like the song. But it still feels racist, dude. I just can't shake it. I don't know. So th oh my god, what is that? <laughs> what is that thing? Okay, I take it back, DHX. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. This is a challenge. Zero this... out of ten, I would rather stick my dick in a cadaver. I mean, a, a female one, because I'm not a freak. <laughs> what difference in does fact, it make at that on, point? Me... Yep. Like... <laughs> yep, there it is. I knew it. Right there. So, this is Zesty Gourmand, oh, the illegitimate shit. child of Lord Voldemort and Tilda Swinton. Apparently, they got rid of her by chucking her through the portal to Equestria <laughs> while Twilight was at Canterlot High. But that's just a rumor. I don't know. Anyway, despite bearing her father's oh, mark, geez. she is not a dark wizard, but something much more evil, horrifying, and reprehensible. She's a, a critic. professional critic. Yes. And she's like, yep, just what I thought. This food is shit, and you should all feel terrible and hate yourselves. And Pinky's like, yeah, well, you know, that's just like your opinion man and she's all yes and my opinion is better because i'm a famous person and they're like because i'm you paid famous for again? it and she's like for having better opinions how are you not getting this so she fucks off and rarity's like dude i just realized something we never needed to change this place we just needed a famous person to shill it and pinky's like bro wait a second you're a famous person and rarity's like i don't know right so they do what they should have done all yeah, along. Yeah, like, why didn't These they do that? cook their food, the whole, Punk does yeah. the decorating, and Rarity does the sweet talking. Everything like the whole first half of that episode, everything banging, was backwards. But then Tilda Mort shows up again, and she's like, <laughs> listen, you Tilda assholes, Mort. I already told you you couldn't like this food, so who the hell authorized all this enjoyment? And these dudes are all like, well... Rarity said we could like it, and she's kind of famous, she's so famous we tried too, it, isn't it's she? fucking awesome. So, you know, choke on a dick. And everyone's <laughs> like, yeah, if you don't want to eat here, you can just go eat some dicks. And Rarity's like, dude, you may think your opinions are better than everyone else's because you're famous, but as you can see, that's not how it works. I mean, sure, it definitely helps, but what really makes an opinion truly superior is when a bunch of people agree with you. Right. <laughs> Welcome to the internet. Yeah, let's see you do something with those two. Come on, come on, uh, DeviantArt, fanfic artists. I know you're out there. You've got this. Okay. Um, moving on. <laughs> moving on to episode 13, which I can imagine, I can only imagine is going to be just as entertaining because this was stranger than fanfiction. This was the one with uh, Quibble Pants. And the the convention, the Daring Do convention. And I'm pretty sure that this guy's been to a convention or two. So, uh, yeah, let's let's just let's let's get into it because. Um, all right, let's get it all in the right place. Yep, I can only imagine. I don't like to speculate. So here we go. Three, two, one, play. What is this? 
fresh hell. Tell me, what good is fantasy when it becomes nothing more than a mockery of the very thing we seek to escape? Yeah. All about <laughs> okay. Didn't see that coming. All right, we're back, and here we go. Okay, so hey, Princess Twiggy is song. reading Dash some Daring Do because, let's face it, reading is hard, and if you got a smart friend who can do it for you, you should get on that. Yes. Of course, all my friends are even dumber than I am, so I just don't read. But I do watch cartoons, and lucky for all of us, that's what this is. So, Dashie is packing for some Fair kind enough. of trip, probably to go off for some more Wonder Bulls training or... Wait. A daring do convention? Oh my god. I cannot wait to see this. A convention, but like in Equestria, who knows what kind of it's... fantastic things will... What? Wait, what? What the it's fuck? No! Convention no! inside of a convention. This is just the vendor's hall at every brony convention, but slightly less shitty. I don't well... need this in the show. I've seen it enough already. <laughs> That's okay. exactly what I said. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, calm down. <laughs> well, not exactly, you guys but just it's calm close. down. You hear me? Don't get all worked up. Yeah, what did you expect at a convention? So, Rainbow's walking around and people are trying to sell her stupid shit, and then she meets this guy and they start discussing the accuracy of their cosplays. Again, so hitting, he's like, nice hitting costume. too close to I home, see right? You have the correct number of arrow holes in your hat. And Dash is like, Now, this one. What ensues can only be described as a whirlwind autism romance, complete with this totally nice. non sexual romp in the ball pit. That's right, guys and gals. Just in case you weren't thinking about it every moment of every day, your waifu will never look at you like this. You'll never get to see that joy in her eyes, and you'll never spend an afternoon together bonding over something you're well, both that's passionate because about. She's you know, a just cartoon. a friendly reminder. Oh, God, no. No! It's not <laughs> supposed to be like this! Equestria is supposed to be a socially yeah, enlightened that, fantasy uh, world where everyone has a was... true place and everyone can be loved. Body pillows are not for people who are loved. People who have joy in their lives don't need this kind Especially of shit. This is it. You all lost title. your nuts over slice of life, yet it was but a portent of things to come. This is the singularity. The show and its fandom have ceased to be two separate really entities sure and have merged into how a how single, works. massive, roiling cauldron of spaghetti in which we are all trapped for eternity. There is no going back. We are the collective. We are My Little Pony. Join us. Anyway, Dashy and Quibble finally end up at the bar because in case you didn't know, that is truly the best part of any convention. An excuse well, to get know, fucked up. And just when all the Dash waifu friends were about hurt. to kick the chair out. I mean, there isn't a single thing after Ring of Destiny that is even remotely in the realm of the possible. What? They get into an argument about canon. It's like I'm looking into a mirror and I want to strangle the person the... I see. Right now there are people all across the internet having the same argument they're having in this episode about this episode. It's the it's fame so and meta, misfortune I feel like before I'm fame and misfortune. Break. Why, my little pony, why do you mock me? First Zephyr Breeze, and now this shit. What did I ever do to you? <laughs> I bought all your fucking merchandise. What else do you want? Do you want my soul? Take it! Just fucking take it! I don't have anything else! Whatever. We all know the only truly canon daring dude. That mean face. Anyway, then they get captured by Copacabana or whatever his name mm -hmm. is, and dude thinks it's some elaborate RP that Dash set up to prove she's right. Then they almost die and get rescued by Daring Do herself, and Quibble's like, holy shit, this is real. I'm in an episode of My Little Pony. And she's like, yeah, no yeah. shit, motherfucker, and we only have five minutes and 30 seconds to find the seven assed MacGuffin, or we're fucked. So they get to the end of the level and they have to solve a puzzle to get whatever it is, but apparently when they recolored Dash to make Daring Do, they gave her the same brain. But fear not, dude yeah. has such an encyclopedic knowledge of adventure novels that he's able to figure it out and they get the world's most decorative pie tin. <laughs> the lesson here is that if you obsess over obscure bullshit that nobody cares about, one day yeah, you'll neither. go on an adventure with your waifu and find treasure. Thank yeah, God, too. I mean, I was gonna kill myself smart, after right? I finished making this video, but now I have hope. Right, so they do that. all the things, Daring Do says thanks and fucks off, and Dude is like, you know, Dash, maybe we don't agree on some stuff, but I think you're really cool and we should totally be friends. And Dash is like, like, pff, fuck you, dude. I'm objectively right. Suck my dick. <laughs> because Rainbow Dash has one of those, of course. Oh, 
Oh man, yeah, that one. Uh, that one was just like uh, it was almost like Inception, and especially like when they got in there and started arguing about like where Quibble like only liked the series up to a certain point, and then like everything else was just shit. And it's just like, okay, yeah, that's like that's like a chunk of the fandom right there. They just like they quit at season three, didn't they? Don't lie, you know it's true. Don't don't, don't act like it's not true because because we see it we see it again in season seven, don't we? Like we see it like boom, right in your face in season seven, fame and misfortune, right? I can't wait to see that one. Because like Okay, so like if you had to say that reaction to Stranger Than Fan Fiction, Fame and Misfortune is just, I mean, it's just the fandom within the show. It, it literally is. So we got a long way to go to get there, but I'm, I'm already looking forward to that one. Right now we have, um, we have... Episode 14, which was uh, Cart Before the Ponies, which was probably, out of these five, probably my least favorite of them. Um, I didn't hate it. There, there were some, there have been some episodes of this show that I just really didn't like. Um, a very few, but this one was, eh, you know, three out of ten, four out of ten. So, salvageable. But anyways, let's see what happens with DWK because, uh, yeah, sometimes uh, 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 just the slightest little twist can make a not so good episode seem not seem better. Here we go. I'm tired, guys. It's been a long day. You'll have to you'll have to bear with me. Anyways, here we go. Three, two, one, play. Well, I know you'll be loving this shit right here. All right. Okay, so it's a school day in Pony I was going to keep and going. Charlie's like, all right, guys, today we're going to learn physics. And Scoots is like, dude, I have an idea. Let's do literally anything else. And Charlie's <laughs> yeah. like, all right, it's like any, it. let's like any have kid, a cart right? race. We can charge for tickets, and I'll use the money to pay for all the Valium I have to take just to do this job. We'll have three hey, awards. it all Fastest sounds better cart, than physics, most doesn't boring it? cart, and sexiest cart. Also, you can each pick an adult to help you. So, Sweetie B, Scootaloo, and Apple Bloom meet up after class, and Scoots is like, you know, guys, I feel like it seems really obvious which of those awards each of us should go for. But and which adult up this you time? should And Sweetie's choose. like, yeah, we should branch out and develop multifaceted interests and personalities so that we can grow up to be well-rounded, interesting people like our big sisters. And A.B.'s like, wow, guys, we're being mature as fuck. They're gonna be <laughs> so proud of us. And the adults are like, Gotta go fast. Gotta be fabulous. Apples, apples, apples. <laughs> they hijack the entire deal because Rarity wants to fix her childhood. AJ never had a childhood and doesn't think her sister should either. And Rainbow just has to go fast. How does a pony lift a yeah. dumbbell? So the CMCs each you know, go to their respective sisters what they and they're all done, like, hey, we actually want to do this if ourselves they wanted to mix and things try up new things so maybe and try you guys it differently, can, like, back off a little, Wouldn't you know? it have made and more Rarity's sense? And like, darling, bro, I got to win that sexy Wouldn't it have made more sense to go to the sister that that was their strength? Like you mean ponies like the ones who kicked out of your boutique to go to earlier Applejack so you could appropriate your sister's school project? Those like kind of ponies. Apple also, I lost to, to a retarded Dash. girl and it's slowly been whittling away at my and self-esteem for the past twenty years. Rarity, don't call her retarded. Oh, <laughs> sweetie Belle. Oh, we no one can, around. We oh, say that look, a lot in Scoodle this. is a chicken. It's a fandom reference, dude. That was fucking hilarious in 2011. Come on, DHX. I mean, if you're gonna pander, we need some fresher still, memes. Yeah. The ones you're using are way too dank. Memes are not like with. They do not get better with age. Trust me, I consume me. a massive amount of both. I don't think paint works like that. I, I don't. I don't. That's not. That's not how paint works. Not unless Guys, you're. Not unless you're Pinkie Pie. My goodness, uh, cheerily Sensei, what are you? Oh what, yeah. What are you trying to do to me? Oh yeah. The... Blow, that horn. <laughs> Blow it nice and hard. I got a horn for you right here. Guys, cheerily's making me really horny. Guys. 
Was that enough yeah, jokes about yeah, the horn? Yeah. I can come up with more. Just give me a minute. I think musical numbers while driving should be a punishable offense in Equestria simply because of how likely it is to happen. Ponies don't drive often, but on the rare occasions well, that they do, there's a pretty fucking good chance they'll also be singing. Okay, there was... you just lived through a 20 car fucking pileup and you're mad that your carts are wrecked? You all could have died. It's a fucking miracle that nobody broke a leg or some shit. What if one of the, the core, CFCs got their one. spine shattered and ended up being a quad? quadriplegic for the rest of their lives. Would that get your fucking attention? Haha, <laughs> yeah, Scooter Lou can't fly. Wouldn't it be funny if she couldn't fucking walk either? You're all irresponsible, self-centered, narcissistic jackasses, and because of that, I have never related to you more. <laughs> anyway, the Phillies are like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you guys. We just asked for your help so we could have some fun, and you made it about you. It's always about you guys. You're a bunch of self-important control freaks, and you fucked up everyone's day because you can't contain your massive egos. And Dash is like, well, why didn't you stop us? We tried, but you ignored it and just it kept talking like over us. I mean, what's wrong with you? Exactly like that. Like, do you just blindly assume that adults are right and follow along with whatever they say? Well, but that's what you and I every mean... other adult always says we should do. Yeah, and obviously we're full of shit. There's your lesson for the week. This is your fault for being great, obedient great and respectful. Lesson. Great okay. lesson. How old is Cheerilee? Wait, check this out. I sure am glad Miss Cheerilee agreed to run the race over again. Even AJ calls yeah, her Miss Cheerilee like the kids do. It. And I get the impression that these three were probably in her class back in the day. And all I can say is this just makes that cheerleader outfit even hotter. Anyway, they do the race again because you know that happens that all the time in real life, right? Your big event six, turned into it? a giant clusterfuck. Oh, okay, we'll just do the whole thing over so yeah, everyone's happy. we could happy. just fix those cars right like, up. You know, guys, I really did learn something today. When adults commandeer something that's made for kids and take it too seriously, Wait, they get it dirty? ruins it for everyone. Besides, we don't need to do that kind of thing. We're successful, well-functioning people with rewarding careers and prominent places in our community. It's not like we need to cling to our childhoods by taking an obsessive interest in stuff that's designed for a younger generation. Of that not. just ends up making us look like a bunch of weird losers. And they're like, yeah, you said it, bro. Now let's do what adults are supposed to do, do at school events. Should we? Sit on the sidelines and get drunk. <laughs> we, we definitely shouldn't take things that are designed for children and take them seriously and obsess over them because we would never do that. As fans, we would never do anything like that, would we? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, just, just yeah. Um, he made that. He made that even more meta than than it was in the actual episode. I yeah. I, it was just like you know when they decided when the CMC decided to kind of mix it up and go for different things. It just it seemed odd that they wouldn't have. Mixed it up like with the the sister that they went to because <laughs> they were looking for advice, looking for help. It seems like it would have made more sense to go to the one whose strength was the thing that you wanted to go and do. Um, but, you know, I, I mean, they were kids and they were, probably wouldn't have thought that way. They were just like, oh, I'm just going to go to my big sister. But, yeah. Anyways, it wasn't. It wasn't all bad, but it was it was a really weird episode, like just the way and, and the lesson was kinda strange. It's just like yeah, it's like um yeah, the adults aren't always right. So this is what happens when you listen to adults and follow their advice. You get um you know, it, the the whole world gets gets destroyed. So I don't know. Let's move on. Episode fifteen. This was the uh this was the zombie one, the 25, 28 francs later, which also was not one of my favorite episodes. I didn't hate it as much as some people did. Some people just absolutely just demonized this episode, and it was weird. It was a weird episode, but I don't know. It, I, I, I didn't hate it that much, but let's see what DWK does with it, because these have all been great so far, so... Can't imagine that this one will be any different. So let's pull it up here, get it back where it goes, and here we go in three, two, one, play! Oh 
holy shit, it's pony time. Uh, so yeah. Fluttershy's yeah, walking through the Everfree Forest in the middle of the night, and she's like, damn, dude, I Those hope nothing the scary happens. Well, smack my ass and call me Judy. Something scary <laughs> happens right then. You can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and be still my fucking heart who's behind this latest palpitation in poor Butter's ever-shortening life asshole, expectancy. Yeah. It's Rainbow Dash. Oh, Dash, you psychotic, heartless bitch. That is so something you would do. Like, several seasons ago, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Huh. Yeah, right. that was season like, well, one, dude, wasn't you it? You almost killed me, so I hope you enjoyed that. And Dash is like, nah. Not really. So, it's the next day, and the girls are holding their monthly, Rainbow is doing something retarded, and we have to stop her before she hurts someone intervention. And Dash is like, I mean, I feel like on, that Flesh, acronym is harder than the actual so phrase. Much? It's not like that's one of your defining personality traits or anything. And AJ's like, God damn it, Rainbow, we've been dealing with your shit for so long that your normal level of cuntiness doesn't even register anymore. The fact that we're all this pissed off should tell you something. Yeah, it tells me that myth about chicks' periods syncing up when they live together is totally <laughs> true. And Twilight's is that a like... Is that a... <laughs> and AJ's oh, like, yeah, okay, yeah, meeting a... adjourned. We'll continue this somewhere else. Twilight, sort there. your fucking diet out. Good God. But my doctor said eating lots of beans and legumes was... Oh God, it's in my throat. <laughs> so, while the Friendship Castle is airing out, Dash decides I to terrorize wish, uh... the citizens of Ponyville because property yeah, damage, what was bodily the deal, harm, right? and reckless endangerment are funny, right? Throwing your friend's bed in a mud pit? Hilarious. Trying to break someone's yeah, teeth? That, that's like... a knee slapper. Thank God this boulder didn't tip over and crush Big Mac. Now he just has to spend the afternoon removing all the debris that got stuck in his crotch when he got dragged down that hill. Totally uh -huh. epic. Nothing says comedy like a few splinters lodged in your scrotum. So, Twiggles and literally yeah, everyone were, else are like, yo, these, Pinky, the bad. situation's like, getting spooky, not... bro. Oh, come on, guys. Dashie's just being a big pain in the ass. This is par for the course. And Rarity's like, dude, darling, we think it's worse than that. We think she's acting out of character. <laughs> and Pinky's like, you guys just don't a little. say just, that. Just... You know, I mean, maybe she's just going through some personal personal stuff and doesn't have a healthy stress outlet. We can't jump to conclusions. That's... And Twice like, bro, we don't like it either, but you know this is how it starts. If we don't nip this in the bud, pretty soon she'll devolve into an insufferable caricature of herself and we'll have to put her down. This has to stop now for Dash's own sake and you're it the happens. only one who can pull it off. Fine, I'll do it. May the old gods have mercy on our souls. <laughs> so for her next prank, Dash is going to trick the entire town into eating her rainbow juice by sabotaging the local supply oh, that, of Girl Scout it? cookies and then watch them through their bedroom windows. Oh yeah, no, that's not completely fucked or anything. No. This is what happens when you hang around Fleetfoot too much. The Wonderbolts are clearly a bad influence on Dash. She's become an even bigger asshole and has also developed some kind of obscure fetish. Even more unfortunately, the tainted cookies give everyone the blue waffle plague which turns them into zombies and yep more zombies i they never were googled clearly that, really amped about this idea we the get more references just I when hear to she's it, about to get all her rainbow juice the less sucked I want to out right it. from the source they're all like hey it was just a prank bro yeah, just, and she's like wait kidding. what what the dick flicking fuck is wrong with you guys why would you do <laughs> this to me and h is like well you were being a massive tool so we decided to give you a taste of your own medicine simple as that no fuck you man I'll, okay, I'll admit I Honestly, maybe I got a little carried away, but no. you just made me think I killed everyone I ever cared about. Dash, we had to. You were acting completely out of character, and you know what happens to cartoon characters who go down that route. We only pretended to be soulless abominations to stop you from becoming one. But isn't tricking me into thinking I'd inadvertently murdered all my friends completely out of character for you guys? I mean, I mean, other than that one time, didn't we used to fix these situations by being honest and open about our feelings instead of psychologically tormenting each other? Oh, fuck. She's right. What have we become? <laughs> Who are we? Well, I don't know. We're I mean, all dead inside. We really are zombies. No, please don't say that. We can still fix this. God has forsaken us. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. I guess you could look at it that way, but... First off, fuck your bitch and the click you claim. West side when we ride, come equipped with game. I mean, I guess you could look at it that way, but I mean, you know, the, the the episode had gone so wrong already. Like Rainbow Dash had gone so far off the deep end already. It's just like, yeah, if if she's if if she's gone that far, like if she's if you know, we're gonna have to. 
I, I got it. You know, you got to fight fire with fire. Um, so, you know, the zombie part, I, I, I felt like... Uh, the zombie part, I, I felt like, was was warranted. I, honestly, that was just my opinion. I, I felt like Rainbow Dash had gotten to a point... That, like, like, I was already... Like, it was the beginning of the episode. It was just like, good lord. None of those... Literally none of those pranks were funny. Like, they were, like, physical harm, like, cause major injury type things. Like, that, that just, you don't do. Like, there, there's no reason to do. So, hell, the, the zombie, like, I, at that point, like, I felt like Rainbow Dash deserved everything she got there at the end of that episode. But, hey, that's just me. But, uh, those were fun. Those were fun, and uh, hopefully I can get into more of them um, soon. I will try to make it more soon than it was the last time, because it's been quite a while since I uploaded, since I did DWK. But I will uh, try to make that happen sooner next time. Anyways, guys, that's all I got to say about that. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did, too. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like, maybe leave a subscribe, and... Do you leave a subscribe? I think you just hit the subscribe. I don't know. You guys know what to do if you like it, right? I, I don't. I don't have to. Hopefully, I don't have to tell you guys. Anyways, that's all the time I got for tonight. I hope you guys had fun. I know I did. Until next time, I am Stick Boy, and I will see you guys later.